Good evening and welcome to our first virtual session of the summer, Living on Campus. My name is Charles Holmes Hope and I serve as the Director for Residential Life here at University of Vermont or what we call UVM. Now 22 years in our campus housing and risk life profession, I'm going to um, go into my third year here at UVM and I'm excited to share with you my passion for campus housing and how our work can empower Greater, greater student success here at the university that leads to greater retention. In this session, we, we, we'll be giving you a snapshot of our facilities so that you know what to expect when you arrive on campus. We know that many of you may not have had the opportunity to visit UVM before attending. So we hope this virtual tour will help you get accustomed to what you will find in a typical resident hall. While many students and parents may be familiar with the, with the term dorm for campus housing, we in campus housing call our spaces resident halls. This best reflects the intentionality improvement which goes into creating a learning environment rather than simply a space to sleep. We will be also introducing some of our faces you will see in residence halls this August and throughout the academic year. In Res Life, we maintain a full staff of dedicated campus housing professionals who are here to facilitate safety, inclusion, and inspiring living environment. Our team creates programming, mediates conflict, and upholds the values of the university across our live on communities. Many of our staff live on campus and are on call to support students whenever needed. In our virtual tour this evening, you will meet a few folks who serve in key student facing roles. We hope that you will say hi to these folks when you move in in August and take full advantage of the many resources our team provides to you at UVM. Remember, the on-campus experience is what you make it. We will also introduce you to the many ways in which UVM's mission around sustainability and environmental consciousness shapes the experiences of the live on experience. At UVM, sustainability is a core part of our mission, from our waste management system to our work with campus partners to provide transportation options for students, this value affects all aspects of life on campus, and we are proud to be a strong partner with our UVM Office of S Sustainability and supports the broader UVM mission as one of the largest units on campus. Finally, we will close out with a live Q&A session. And during the Q&A session, you can enter your questions using the Q&A button on your screen and we will try to answer as many questions as possible. I am joined this evening by several of our staff members who will be who will be helping me to answer questions along the way so that if you do not hear your me read your question directly, please click the chat for a written response. As we are working through working through the Q and A session, we ask you please be mindful that questions with personal information or requests should be emailed directly to our office at reslife at uvm.edu, so that we can create a case in our system and make sure your your needs are fully addressed. This evening, we will be trying to answer the many common questions that I'm sure you are eager to have answered. I also want to make sure you know that there are several more virtual sessions coming up this summer. We have two more student sessions planned in the future. The next session is called Moving In and Moving On. It will include everything you need to know to have a successful moving experience here at UVM. You will learn all about what to bring, what not to bring, and how to prepare for your big day, opening day. The third and final session is called Living in Community, 
While we hope you will attend all three sessions, we strongly encourage you to be able to uh, able to attend this community session in particular. During this session, you will be introduced to our code of conduct, our expectations for community, and meet your RA and fellow residents in breakout sessions for your halls. Our students have a wonderful experience in this session last year, and we hope you are excited to have the chance to meet everyone in your community before you arrive to Vermont. You can find information about all of these future sessions and other information online. Before we get started with our tour of UVM's residence halls, I want to share a few words about our department. Res Life is responsible for all of the resident halls at UVM, as well as the programming and community development and engagement for our on-campus students. In Res Life, our mission is to educate, engage, and enrich the experiences of our on-campus students in so many ways. We support the university's mission by creating learning environments throughout our resident halls, which provides intentional programming and a structured curriculum for our students to thrive here at UVM. I am so excited about the direction of our department as we continue to reimagine the living experience just for you. I wanna share a few exciting updates with you to give you a strong sense of where we are going in campus housing here at UVM. We continue to make great strides in improving our room selection process. As you know, you will, as you know by now, we are thrilled to be able to allow our incoming students to select their rooms for the upcoming school year. We are also excited for the first time, nearly all incoming students were able to be placed in one of their top two learning communities. Now that's terrific. Stay tuned for even more improvements to our housing portal and user experience. This year, we were able to offer updated photos covering all room types in each of our resident halls. Through the UVM campus map, you, have, you, you will see the chance to explore the content. I highly encourage you to, to do so. Our goal is to provide you with all the information you need to make the best room choice available to you. We are also in the process of scanning all of our halls for 3D virtual tours. By the time you go through room selection scheduled for February of 2025, you will be able to have an immersive look and walk through experience of the spaces on campus to fit your needs when you pick your room. I am particularly proud that we have hired and continue to hire vibrant, qualified staff in new and vacant roles. We will be entering the academic year at fully staff levels for the first time since the pandemic, with more than 85 professional full-time staff in our department. And we cannot wait for you to meet all of those new faces in our department. Please visit our department website, our new website, to meet and learn more about our department staff. All, 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 all of these staff members bring a wealth of a wealth of experiences and a passion for education to our team. This summer, we are hard at work on renovation projects across our 41 halls on campus. This is part of our 10-year maintenance and construction plan to maintain and improve spaces on campus for our live-on students. Many of our buildings are receiving new flooring, updated furniture, new roof, and fresh coating painting, among many structural improvements, which will improve the quality of life for our students here at UVM. This spring, we launched a completely, a completely redesigned website with new photos of all the halls with an improved structure that I know you will like when you visit our website. We encourage you to browse our website 
which can serve as your handbook to all things res life. This year, we are also implementing a brand new curriculum to support the holistic student learning outside the classroom. We want to make sure all students have equal access to off-campus trips, workshops, activities, and all the experiences that make living on campus such a key component of campus life. We encourage you to connect with your learning communities when you arrive and make suggestions for programs that you would like to see in your communities. We are also collaborating with campus partners to improve access to resources and create even more exciting programs throughout the academic year that fits your needs, which comes to you in your own living spaces. Look out for pop-up events from our offices, such as the Career Center, Health and Wellbeing, and many more. We are continuing to make meaningful improvements to the student experience to ensure greater satisfaction as we respond to feedback and data from our from the school year. This spring, we relaunched our Sky Factor survey, a student satisfaction survey, which is a comprehensive survey, all aspects of campus life. This data has informed many of the changes we are implementing this summer and over the year to come. Nearly 50%, 50% of our students completed this survey, a record number for UVM. I hope you will help us set an even higher record this coming term. Finally, I am so thrilled that we have continued to enhance our move-in day process to meet your needs, to improve our logistics, free food, meals, uh, for our first year students and their families. Both breakfast and lunch were started last year in August of 2023. And this year we have a really cool menu for our first year students and their families when you arrive in August and offers, and offers some very exciting welcoming gifts when everyone arrives to their halls. It is an exciting time for our department and to be a UVM catamaran. Now, I would like to take you on a tour of our campus, a beautiful campus we have here at UVM, hosted by one of our student interns, Sasha Wagner. Sasha, take it away. Hi Catamounts, my name is Sasha and I'm a senior at UVM. Before you get to campus, we want you to get the chance to get to know our residence halls and staff a little bit better. We hope that you've had a chance to visit and take a tour in person, but if you haven't, or you'll be living on a part of campus that you haven't been to yet, this session is to help you get to know the halls a bit better. This is our main office for Res Life. This is where you'll find the front desk staff who answer the phones or respond to your emails. We also have our leadership team and housing operations staff here, overseeing room selection, learning community placements, and much more. By now, many of you have chosen your rooms for the upcoming year. Let's check in on Devin, who oversees all of our housing processes. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Devin Smith and I'm the Associate Director of Housing Operations here at UVM. Uh, welcome to campus. We're excited to see you. It is my role uh, to oversee sort of all housing operations and housing assignments here at the campus. Um, many of you have already been placed in rooms at this point um, and official room assignments will be going out on August 5th. Um, so get ready and look forward to seeing that. Um, but we're really excited to welcome you here and I am excited to give you some insight on exactly what our housing operations team does here at the UVM. So, once you get your assignments and you find out your assignments on August 5th, um, we are the ones who, if you need anything changed, need any accommodations, you can feel free to reach out to our team and ask us if there's any support that you may need. Uh, we're really going to try our best to support you and get you those accommodations with what we have. So please feel free to make sure that you're giving Res Life a call because we're always willing and hopeful that we can try to find you what you need. 
I'm really hoping that you're happy with the room assignment that you got. Um, if there are any issues or if you have any questions, um, hang tight and reach out uh, in, as we get closer to the end of August and we'll do our best to try to support you with those any accommodations that you might need. Let's explore Redstone Campus. Redstone is home to two learning communities, innovation and entrepreneurship and outdoor experience. On Redstone, you will live in one of the halls, Redstone Hall, Coolidge, Slade, Mason, Simpson, Hamilton, Christy Wright, Patterson, or Wing Davis Wilkes. Red Zone Campus is like its own little neighborhood at UVM. Aside from the music department and the recital hall, there are no academic facilities, only residence halls. With so much green space here, students are always out on the green playing frisbee, spike ball, and hanging out in hammocks, or slacklining. Red Zone has plenty of amenities, such as the fitness center in Wright Hall. We're also a quick walk from the Patrick Gym and the main UVM fitness center. Simpson Hall has two dining spaces, the Red Zone Dining Hall and the Red Zone Marketplace. Now let's take a look at one of the resident halls. Right now, we're outside of Wink Davis Wilkes, which is one of the residential halls on Red Zone campus. Once you walk inside, you'll see the main desk where there'll be someone to help you with any questions, get you your room key and your packages. The mailboxes are located just next to the desk, which are accessible by a combination lock. Most halls have a main desk. However, if you live in a smaller resident hall, you'll normally use the front desk of a building nearby. While we're here, let's meet Kathleen to talk about the student facing roles of residential life. Hi, my name is Kathleen Simpson. I'm one of the assistant directors of the Residential Education Unit here at the University of Vermont. My team is responsible for working with the resident advisors who are students who will be living on your floor. Uh, they are there for a resource should you need anything um, learning about campus. They help you transition into your role as a student and they're here for any emergency on call situations. Um, they also build a community on your floor and host programs and events for you to attend. When you first get to campus, your resident advisor will be holding circles for you in your halls that will help you to get to know them better and to get to know your floor mates better. Uh, it's really a community involvement um, effort that we want you to be able to feel a part of the floor and a part of your building. Resident advisors are supervised by professional staff members, resident directors, and area coordinators who live on campus. Um, they are here for an on-call emergency response as well, so there's always somebody here to respond to any needs or emergencies that may be happening in the building. In addition to the resident directors and area coordinators, there's also my team, the assistant directors. We are student-facing offices. You don't need to have a problem to come talk to us. We're really friendly. We really like working with students. That's why we do what we do. I've been working in residence life for 10 years, uh, and I love my interactions with the students that I get to have on the daily. Come talk to me about kayaking, about hiking, nature, um, escape rooms, stand-up comedy, anything that you're interested in, I'd love to hear about. Uh, so please come by um, the Redstone Athletic or Trinity campuses. Thanks, Kathleen. Now we're going to head over to Athletic Campus. Athletic Campus is, you guessed it, where our athletic facilities are. The halls on Athletic are University Heights North and South, Harris Mellis, Marsh Austin Tupper, and Living and Learning. This is where all the games are, like hockey, soccer, and basketball. Plus, lots of workout spaces in the fitness center. There's an outdoor track, athletic fields, and outdoor basketball courts in the middle of the bus loop. In the winter, they turn it into an ice skating rink. You can easily jump on a bike path from Spear Street to visit the cows in the UVM barn too. As well as the Senator pa Patrick Leahy Honors College and the Liberal Arts Scholars Program, Athletic Campus hosts their sustainability and global connections learning communities. Harris Mills has a dining hall and Living and Learning has two options, the Marche, retail space, and Skinny Pancake, which is a local restaurant chain. While we're here, let's talk about learning communities with Liz, one of our program directors. 
Hi, my name is Liz Amler. I am the program director of the Sustainability Learning Community. Sustainability is located uh, on Harris Millis and Marsh Austin Tupper Halls. I always encourage students to, when they think about learning communities, think about what you're passionate about, what do you enjoy doing in your free time. These learning communities are a terrific way to build community um, and really, really explore what your, your passions are. Sustainability is so much fun. Um, we not only develop a sense of place um, in your halls on campus in Vermont, but we learn how to build a sustainable future. And it's an incredibly exciting place to be, particularly in Vermont, where there's a lot of sustainability activity. Um, and it's, it's awesome. I'm so excited for sustainability this year. We are lucky to live in a hub of sustainability activity, um, not only on campus, but in the entire region of Vermont. This year, we will be touring farms, learning about sustainable agricultural um, work that's happening. We will be learning about renewable energy development in Vermont, and we will be learning about and going in and experiencing what is sustainable transportation. How can I use that in my day to day? This summer, we are with our pre-orientation program, uh, we have two programs that are really exciting. We're exploring sustainable food systems in Vermont, as well as fungi and ecology. We're looking at so many different exciting programs this year from working with the Career Center on how to prepare and engage with sustainability careers in Vermont, um, to um, working with our, our campus partners, our eco reps on our University of Vermont comprehensive sustainability plan, where UVM is working to be carbon neutral by 2030 and the different ways that students can engage in that work. So there's so much to be excited for and so much to look forward to here in sustainability at UVM. One specific program that comes to mind is apple cider making, um, where we make apple cider outside together as a community. I take a cider press and just put it in front of the residential hall and I get locally sourced apples from our UVM farm. And we, we just, we spend time in the, the sun together and we make apple cider and spend time in community. And it's one of my favorite programs because we're using locally sourced food. We're learning how to, to make our own cider and we get to enjoy it together as a community. And that's certainly a highlight that, that I look forward to. For a lot of our programs, it's geared towards any major. Uh, certainly when we partner with the Career Center um, and we're, we're talking about sustainability focused um, fields to look into, you could be working in communications and wanna work at an environmental organization on their, their media. Um, you could be interested in agricultural experiences and wanting to work on a farm in Vermont. You could have a technology background and be very interested in renewable energy development. So it's a very exciting place to be in sustainability because in our community, there's so many different majors and so many different interests, and we're all looking together to build a sustainable future. And here at UVM, we're doing just that. University of Vermont released a comprehensive sustainability plan that seeks to be carbon neutral by 2030. And here in the sustainability learning community, we get to see that that work happen in real time and we get to engage with it with our partners at the Office of Sustainability. So with all of our learning communities, you can find us all on, on Instagram, which is a really terrific way to follow along about upcoming events. You could also see what has happened in years past and what you could get excited about to look forward to when you come to University of Vermont. I also encourage you to go to the first couple of weeks across all learning communities we will be hosting um, welcoming events in a variety of shapes and forms. And I encourage you to, to go and meet your, your community members and also um, the team and the staff who are here to really support you um, in the beginning of this awesome adventure at UVM. If you didn't get your first choice, I encourage you to um, still attend your learning community events and programs. I think something that's really um, terrific about um, our learning communities is that we really look to see what our students' interests are. So if you are in sustainability, but I hear you are really, really excited about arts and crafts, um, we do nature crafting. There's lots of different ways to incorporate um, different interests into the programming that we do. And I get really excited when I hear about what students are interested in engaging on. And I certainly look to their voices and their interests to help elevate our program and our community. So I would, I would really encourage you to attend. If you got place in sustainability, um, welcome. And I'm so excited to meet you and welcome to you to the University of Vermont and to our incredible sustainability learning community. Um, we have so many um, amazingly kind folks um, who are energized about building a sustainable future um, here on campus and in Vermont. And I'm excited to see you at our programs. Thanks, Liz. While we're on that topic, Let's talk to the Office of Sustainability about how to live on campus in a sustainable way. 
Good morning. My name is Corey Berman. I am here on part of the, as part of the Office of Sustainability at UVM with my colleague, Abby Blything. We're here to talk to you about how to live and just generally be more sustainable while you're here at UVM. Uh, I'm the Zero Waste Program and Recycling Manager here at the university. And uh, we're gonna tell you a little bit about uh, recycling and zero waste efforts, where I am anyway, uh, so you can hit the ground running when you arrive here at UVM. First up are the basics, recycling waste disposal. Most folks have heard of the three R's, which is reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, however, here we advance that notion a little bit. We talk about the five R's at UVM that's refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot. Uh, it's more important to refuse the urge to purchase junky items in cheap, fast fashion and single use plastics than it is to recycle. Uh, it's more important to reduce what you buy than it is to recycle. Is recycling important? Is it important? Of course it is. However, it's also important to understand which actions have the most effect, and that is refusing and reducing consumption first. Lastly, what is rot, you might be asking? That is composting or food scraps. We do our best to divert all food scraps on campus and send it to our local composting facility so it can be turned into compost. When you arrive on campus, you'll have a blue recycling bin in your room. However, UVM does not provide a trash container, so please plan on bringing your own. There are trash and recycling sort rooms on every floor in every residence hall. So when your containers are full, simply walk to the nearest one to dispose of your items. If you're unsure on what can be recycled or disposed of, please visit uvm.edu slash recycle. You'll find all the information there you need about our zero waste programs and more. As I mentioned already, we also collect and divert food scraps for composting. In most residence halls, you'll find the compost collection containers in the lobby not on the upper floors, although we are working on expanding this program to the upper floors, so stay tuned. We offer free individual compost bags at each desk in each lobby, so simply grab this bag, fill it up with your food scraps, and when it's done, you can drop the entire bag filled into the collection containers in your building lobby. It's as simple as that. However, we only want food scraps. No packaging of any kind is accepted in our compost program. Even if the item says it's compostable, we don't want it. Only food scraps. There's also an electronic waste or e-waste collection cabinet in each res hall lobby. That's for batteries, things like fluorescent bulbs, small electrical devices, and more. Again, visit uvm.edu slash recycle for more information. Before you make the journey to campus, please take the time to figure out what you really need while you're here. It's extremely easy to simply buy bedding, room accessories, and more at local places like Target or Walmart. However, most of those items are pretty cheap for a reason. They don't last long and they end up in the landfill a few months down the road. Take a moment to think about where all that stuff comes from and the resources it takes just to have it be disposed of and thrown away later. Instead, be sure to carefully pack and figure out what you need. And then once you're here, if you do need something, take advantage of resources like our guide to zero waste and conscious consumption, which you can find at our website. It has tips on where to find everything from secondhand clothing to gently used furniture and electronics. One thing you should not forget, however, is your refillable water bottle and refillable coffee container. Nothing warms you up during a cold Vermont winter like hot tea or coffee. Plus you get a discount when you use your refillable container. We also have reusable containers in all of our dining halls called EcoWare. You'll learn more about this once you get here, but it's another great opportunity to get it to uh, reduce your waste and get a discount on meals as well. So once again, if you're here and you need something, try finding it secondhand, borrowing or sharing an item with folks on your floor. It's also a great way to build community. Remember first, reduce what you buy, then reuse, and then finally recycle. So welcome to UVM. We're glad you're here and hope that you'll join our community as we push forward being a more sustainable campus. I'm going to pass along to my colleague, Abby. Thanks, Corey. That's great. Um, my name is Abby Blyding, and I'm the Sustainable Transportation Program Manager here at UVM. And I'm going to be sharing some sustainable transportation programs and resources for you. Um, I'll start out with talking a little bit about busing. Our local public bus system is called Green Mountain Transit, and this system is completely free to students. Um, we also have an on-campus shuttle um, called the Cats Ride that goes around and is also a great way to get around campus. Um, UVM is also a very walkable campus. It's in a very walkable city. You can get pretty much anywhere on campus within 15 minutes by foot. Um, for biking, we are a gold level bike friendly university and um, Burlington is a silver level bike friendly um, city. So biking is a very active and common um, use or way to get around um, both campus and the greater area. Um, for biking, we have lots of resources, including a student-led co-op on campus. It's called UVM Bikes. It's a great place if you need to get your bike fixed or if you want a bike rental 
um, all of our res halls have bike pumps at the front desk if you ever um, need to utilize that resource. There's also bike shops um, within close proximity to campus that have new and used bikes. And we have a, um, a bike share on campus called Bird Bike Share. Um, that's an affordable way if you don't have a bike on campus or if you're somewhere and you just want to grab a bike and go. Um, so all students get 20% off that bike share program. We also have car share on campus and in the greater Burlington area. Car share is um, it's a it's a service that's available to students 18 and up who need a who don't bring a car to campus but might occasionally need a car to run groceries or get to the mountain. Um, we do have special rates for students for a car share membership. Three cars out of their 18 are right on campus, so very easy to access um, and a great option. Um, when you're thinking about getting to and from campus from longer distances, we definitely um, encourage you to check out our long distance transportation providers like Amtrak and Greyhound and Megabus. We also have brake liners that are available during school breaks um, to get you home. During breaks, we run um, shuttles to, to the major long distance transit providers to connect students to those long distance resources. We also run, um, our eco reps run a ride board on campus that helps students connect for carpooling home. Um, we are very close to um, the airport as well, and you can take the number 11 bus directly from campus for free to get um, to the airport for connections. So all this information and more can be found on um, the transportation website at UVM, which is just uvm.edu backslash transportation. Thanks, we really look forward to having you on campus and hope you are able to utilize some of these tips for your campus experience. Thanks for that information. Now that we've taken a look at Athletic Campus, let's go over to Central. This is Central Campus. We are just outside of the Central Campus Residence Hall, which is one of the two residence halls on this campus. The other being Commerce. Central Campus is the heart of UVM, offering many convenient resources and offices. First up is the Central Campus Fitness Center. Whether you're lifting weights, running, or taking fitness classes, this facility has everything you need to stay active. Just downstairs, you'll find Central Dining on the first floor of the Central Building with a variety of meal options. It's a great spot to grab a bite between classes or meet up with friends. One of the biggest perks of living on Central Campus is the close proximity to your academic buildings. You'll be just a short walk away from your classes, making it easy to manage your time. Connected to the main building is the Howe Library. It's a perfect place for quiet study sessions or group projects. Next, let's check out the Davis Center. This is the hub of student activity, featuring study spaces, dining options, the bookstore, and various student services. Whether you need a quiet place to study or want to relax with friends, the Davis Center has you covered. We hope this gives you a good sense of what Central Campus has to offer. Now let's head to Trinity. Trinity Campus offers a unique and vibrant atmosphere at UVM with plenty of features to enjoy. The resident halls that make up Trinity are Macaulay, Mercy, the back five, which consists of McCann, Richardson, Hunt, Sitchell, and Reddy, and lastly, the cottages. First, there's the music room. This is a great spot for musicians to practice, collaborate, and create. It's a perfect space to let your musical talent shine. For those of you who love staying active, Trinity has tennis courts, where you can play a match with your friends or join in some, on some friendly competition. Trinity campus is also ideal for relaxing outdoors. There are plenty of spots for hammocking and slacklining, where you can unwind and enjoy the fresh air. For the artists among us, the open studio slash art space is a fantastic place to work on your projects. Whether you're into painting, sculpting, or any other form of art, you'll find the resources and inspiration you need here. While we're here, let's meet Shelby, one of our resident advisors. Hi there, I'm Shelby and I'm an RA. 
I love being an RA because I get to help my residents and support them throughout the year. As an RA, I've dealt with many things, including roommate issues, lockouts, making sure our halls stay clean, maintained, and safe, but I've also created programs and built relationships with my floor and become a resource to my residents. If you ever have a problem and you don't know where to start or how to handle it, your first step is your RA. Throughout the year, I will be hosting community circles, creating programs for residents to come and have a good time. I will also be seen working the front desk on my duty shifts. You will be meeting your RA your first day here and they will give you your campus's RA on duty phone number, which you can call anytime for anything. I'm an RA on Trinity for the second year in a row. Trinity is a wonderful place to live on campus. It is a part of the arts and creativity learning community which means we have a music room, an open art studio, and there are programs every week. My favorite thing to do on Trin is to hammock with my friends and listen to music. I look forward to meeting my new residents and I know your RA will be as cool as I am. Thanks, Shelby. Hopefully this gives you a good sense of what student life consists of on Trinity. We're now gonna send you over to Gavin to talk about our final residence hall, Jean Mance. I'm Gavin. I lived in Jean Mance when I was a sophomore at UVM, and it's my favorite residence hall on campus. It's really cool because it's halfway between campus and downtown, so it's right by Church Street, which makes it fun for weekends and afternoons. You go shopping and hang out with friends. It's also really close to campus. It's a short walk, and it's uh, closer than most of the residence halls. So let's go inside and check out the common spaces. Now that we're inside, let's take a look at some of the common spaces. The best part about Jean Mance is that almost the whole floor is filled with different areas to get work done or sit on a couch and hang out. The, there's also a marketplace to grab a snack while you get your work done. And there's a piano and a ping pong table. Jean Mance is part of the gaming collective learning community. There's plenty of opportunities to play games in different areas to hang out here. Back to you, Sasha. We're now back at our residential life headquarters on Redstone campus. Thanks for coming with us on this campus tour. We look forward to seeing y'all in the fall. Thanks, Sasha, for showing our students and our families our beautiful and amazing campus community. I hope each of you are excited to meet these folks and the other staff members in campus housing when you get settled in to your community in August. Each of our learning communities has selected a book that complements the theme of their LC, and they will be using the books throughout the academic year as part of the community learning model, which guides programming within our res halls. Books were, books were shipped at the end of June to all first, first year students here at UVM who will be living with us this coming year. The books sent to Canada addresses will take longer to arrive other Chechnu students will pick up their books when they arrive to campus in August. Please read the book this summer and bring it with you to campus to engage with other students. On Friday, August 23rd, as part of the new student orientation program, you will take part in a required faculty-led welcome and book conversation, one of the most exciting times to really engage with your faculty member. Enjoy your book. We hope that this session has been meaningful to you and you've gotten a lot of what to expect from your spaces when you arrive to campus this coming August. Again, the experience is what you make it. Just like your home, your room will become your own space, your belongings and your campus home will enrich the experiences that we hope you will gain as a student and live on member here at UVM. We look forward to seeing you during our future sessions. Our goal with all of our summer programs is to provide a snapshot of what to expect in order to help you make a successful transition to UVM. With that, I would like to open up into our Q&A session to answer your questions. The first question that is posed out is what kind of support is available for students living on campus? 
Well, we have dedicated hall staff that includes our RAs as Shelby um, was featured, area coordinators, hall directors who are available on campus and they take part in our on-call rotation to respond to emergencies throughout the day and even that supports you in your halls. And so these individuals are trained throughout the summer to um, on how to respond, but also to support you in your community. Another question that just came through is, um, what should I do if I have issues with my roommate? Great question. We encourage all students to be proactive in the roommate relationship. Starting talking, talking with your roommate as soon as you learn more about them to really get to know them, what to bring to campus. And we hope that you are starting those conversations when you receive your, um, um, your room assignment on August 5th. Those conversations I know will prevent issues and will help you to make a smooth transition towards university. If you do experience issues, your RA or the your RAs on your floor are the first point of contact to support you to help you to mediate those conflicts during the school year. Again, they are trained staff um, that we get them prepared to really engage and support students. If you need if you need anything else, you are more than welcome to contact your hall director and your area coordinator that lives in your community that will be able to provide support to you throughout the academic school year. Another question that just came through is when is move-in day and what can I expect? Um, move-in day again is one of the most exciting times of the school year where we get a chance to welcome all of you to campus. Um, move-in takes place over two days in August and I have to say there are so many favorite things of the year that happens during move-in day. You can expect a lot of energy and excitement from everyone at UVM who will be there waiting to welcome you to the university and ready to help you move in, uh, moving your belongings with help from our UVM crew. We will also have carts and dollies on hand to support your move into your hall. Uh, we have been planning um, this big day for months and you can expect uh, that we will make it just great just for you. Uh, we will be covering a lot of more moving stuff during our next two um, sessions uh, that we will be sharing more in depth. So we look forward to sharing out more information during that call. Um, a question came in around, are there are any events or activities for students uh, to take part in, in the halls? Yes, um, in each of our learning communities, um, they plan programs throughout the school year. There are two programs that are planned um, each week. And so the goal is really to engage our students on the front. And so we hope that by our LCs and our RAs really planning programs, it will really engage our students so that they can thrive, shine, but also find their way here at UVM. Um, each, each LC um, have themes that they program around. So, you know, arts, arts, and creative, arts, leading arts and creativity, um, those opportunities are really geared for our students. And we hope that each learning community um, does, just, does just that. Um, also too, the RAs play a critical role in really promoting our programs throughout the school year in your halls. And this is always something going on uh, in your hall. So again, there are many opportunities that uh, we do promote to really, to, really, to really to support students here at the university when they arrive. I don't see any more questions coming through in the chat. Um, let me say that we have enjoyed our time being with you all this evening. Um, if you have any other questions that we did not answer um, during this chat, please feel free to reach out to Residence Life by phone or email, and we will more than willing to answer your questions then. From myself and everyone in campus housing at UVM, I want to welcome you to our community again as a brand new catamount here. As we say at UVM, Go Cats!